Welcome back guys to my channel. It's good to be back and it's exactly two years since last episode about my Porsche build. I'm really happy that I can be again here in front of a camera in front of you, uh, my subscriber. And of course, I'm really happy to start vlogging again. A gazillion things happened during these two years. I decided not to come straight away with uh, some special episode with a lot of talking and so on. If you are interested about two year period what's happening actually there because uh, a lot of things happened there. I was flying helis, I was uh, doing engagement in front of Max Verstappen car and so on. So uh, if you are interested what's happened, drop comments below and then I create a special episode about two year silence period. So now I'm uh, actually super excited. I have some new stuff for uh, filming like mics because previously some of you asked for better sound and I will try uh, to make a YouTube my daily routine and I think I can manage uh, to make videos uh, maybe every week, maybe twice a month. Uh, we will see. I will try to do my best to get back on vlogging. Today I think I will start with some small tasks. I started working on my Porsche, of course. Besides that, I also have some uh, customers who purchased uh, fender flares, so I need to prepare finally those uh, side skirts to be sure that Porsche fenders are built till the end and uh, I'm working on uh, some printables. There will be a front lip which I will print and uh, create a mold and uh, so on. So all about that will be in upcoming vlogs. So stay tuned, give us support and uh, subscribe as uh, I'm now running a full time on YouTube. And also, as you maybe noticed by the sound, something is printing also. Uh, 3D printer was 3D printer was purchased during these years, and uh, I'm working on uh, some uh, Aero disc adapter for uh, regular uh, five bolt wheels because uh, for now I'm unable to run any other wheels that uh, I owned before. So uh, let's try to make some recreation of uh, Aero discs for a uh, usual wheel. I want to grab this and uh, go straight away and test it, uh, will it fit, because I already printed one and unfortunately some measurements of bolt pattern was out and I was unable to place it on a bolt. So uh, let's wait for this and then let's go straight to the workshop. But before we go to workshop, of course, I will show you my yesterday's uh, wheel purchase. Voila! tiny wheels for uh, hot wheels and I will drop actually a video how I made the key fob it's actually super easy so uh, you can uh, grab your die cast uh, model and uh, create your own all right so uh, print is completed till my uh, specific layer I will just grab it off and uh, start heading to a workshop by the way, about the channel name, I decided to move out from Brothers Garage and I also decided to change a channel name. So new channel name is Build, Love, Repeat. Why such a name? Because I love to build. Uh, I love to build uh, anything like cars, motorcycles, anything which is uh, uh, which includes some uh, creative stuff, creativity, manufacturing of parts and so on. And uh, I love what I do. I love my fiance. I uh, love my life, and uh, I happy to repeat the process uh, to create new projects and so on. So uh, that's why the channel name is uh, Build Love Repeat. So guys, build cars, love your family, and repeat things which you love. And now let's jump into the workshop. <laughs> Alright, so here I am in a workshop, it looks like that from the entrance, here's the entrance, it's super small and tiny in, in comparison with the brother's garage, so it's enough for me here and uh, it's a pretty cool place actually, I really love how everything uh, is getting uh, set. So now let's start Hot Wheels and second is test fitting uh, aero disc uh, conversion adapter let's name it like that yeah and then i will grab also the mold of uh, 
the mold of uh, side skirt and uh, go to buddy guys uh, I will polish there I hope they will give me some tools to do that by myself while they maybe can uh, spray my car so let's begin so I prepared the car uh, the body for the paint I removed uh, some extra red one which uh, was the guards red let's say which was uh, on the car uh, originally all right so I cleaned up all the support material from the bottom it looks actually like a sheriff star <laughs> yeah so let's try it on but looks like I have some mistakes somewhere in a bolt pattern because it doesn't fit as you see it's making some wave in the center so yeah somewhere is a mistake and uh, I need to check the bolt pattern oh and yeah here is the first uh, printed part so yeah this could be a great great uh, project so now i need to go to buddy shop to bring a car to them they will paint and i will try to polish uh, the mold of side skirt so let's go Alright guys, I'm here in the body shop, I'm already working on the mold, the mold is being real polished really well, everything is uh, as I planned, so they gave me uh, tools and I'm working on the mold now, but unfortunately it will be impossible to paint the body of a hot wheel car, and they will uh, do it tomorrow probably, because uh, now it's evening and all the body color uh, stores are closed, and uh, tomorrow they will probably uh, get the, the color code uh, all components spray a car with a primer of course and spray the paint then I need to use my brush skills and create all the lights and so on but now let's jump into the Fusion 360 and try to solve the issue with a bolt pattern on the wheels uh, on the wheel hub and I hope I can uh, find an issue because uh, it's actually pretty strange. Uh, I have 5 by 130 as Porsche have, but maybe somewhere some dimensions uh, moved and uh, I didn't uh, saw that. And that's why we have a problem in a 3D print. So now let's jump on a computer and try to figure this out. so guys it's the next day and I'm already here in my workshop and I already measured the adapters actually the rear one looks uh, perfect I will say because it not sticking out it looks like flush with the face of the wheel of from, from this point let's say so it's perfectly in a size and actually I also thinking maybe I need to go lower and then there will be a nut which will screw into adapter yeah so uh, need to figure this out how to make it better flush here or not so let's begin the designs and i will end this episode here thanks everyone who watched till the end i appreciate that hit the like button don't forget to subscribe because in the next episode i will show you how i model the aero disc and of course ring the bell to be notified when the next episode is dropped on the channel i'm really happy to be back in front of the camera i hope this will be a fresh start for the vlog 
build your cars, build your projects, love what you do, love people around and repeat it again and again. See you in the next one.